When you're building make scenarios, the pre-built integrations don't always retrieve all the data you need. If you want to supplement your automations with some lookups for some extra information, you can easily do that with Make's data stores feature. Today, I'm going to show you how it all works. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use automation providers like Make to create more time for our members and their teams. If you'd like to explore X-Ray services, just check out our website at xray.tech. To see more automation tips and tutorials every week, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'll show you how to create a data store in Make, and I'll demonstrate a couple ways to access one from an automated scenario. Also, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll show you an alternative lookup method that can be even more useful if you're automating your work with both Zapier and Make. Now let's get started. To create a data store in Make, open up the app and click on the More option on the left-hand menu. Then, click on Data Stores. To make a new data store, click on the button in the top right corner. In this pop-up, you can give your data store a name, choose its size, and give it a structure. Your maximum data store size will depend on your subscription level. On the free plan, you'll be limited to just one megabyte. When you click on Create a Structure, you'll be able to add fields to your data store. To be clear, you're just defining the fields that will be present in the table, such as full name. You're not going to enter the actual data yet, like John Smith. To add a new field to your data store, click on Add Item under Specification. Initially, you'll see three fields to fill in here, name, type, and default. If you enable advanced settings, you'll also see a label field. A field's name represents the programmatic name of the field. This is the text that Make will look for or return whenever it references this field. If you change the name of a field in your data store, you'll need to make sure that you update any automations that reference that field. The label is an alternative title for the field that's primarily intended for people to read. It's often better to keep the name of the field constant and just update the label if you want to change what the field is called. Under Type, you can select the data type that your field will accept, such as text or date. In Default, you can specify a default value for the field. Note that this option won't be available for every field type. For instance, it's not present for a date field type. You can add several items to create as many fields as you want. Note that in addition to all of the custom fields that you specify here, every data store will also have a field called key, which is meant to be used as a unique identifier for each record. Once you're done, click on Save to close the field configuration menu. Then click Save again to create your data store using the chosen structure. To add records to your data store manually, click on Browse to open up the data store. Then click on Add to fill in each field. Once you're done adding records, be sure to click Save to commit your changes. Once you've created a data store, you can use Make Scenarios to automatically find, add, and update records in it. However, you can't trigger automations to run when you add or update a record in a data store. To automatically look up records in a data store from a Make Scenario, Add a new module to your scenario. Search for Data Store, select Search Records, then pick a data store you want to search in. Choose the field you want to search within, and provide a value to search for. You can also specify a sort order for the search results here. When you run this module, you'll see any matching records that were found in the data store. Then, you can use the data in any subsequent steps in your automation. As usual in Make, the value in each field will be returned as a separate variable. There are a couple different ways to automatically create records in your data stores, but the most efficient and flexible option will usually be to use the Update Record option. With Update Record, you can update an existing record or create a new one if it doesn't exist yet. Just specify the data store you want to use and the key to search for. Then, choose whether or not to create a new record if no match is found. Fill in every field you want to update with the new value that will be entered. If you leave a field blank here, then the contents of that field will not be updated when the scenario runs. However, if you're using the update module to create records as well, you'll probably want to fill in every field. Once you're all set, click OK to close the configuration menu. When you run the module, you should see the record created or updated as appropriate. 
Of course, data stores are certainly not the only way to do a lookup in Make, and frankly, they're not often the best way. Instead of using a built-in feature like a data store, I'd often recommend using Airtable or SmartSuite to create an operational database. With an ODB, you can store data for easy reference, control how your automations run, and share data with your team using interfaces. You can learn more about using an ODB with your no-code automations in this video linked on the screen and in the resources board in the description. In the video, we give a brief overview of all of the key benefits and use cases of connecting your automations to an operational database. To learn more about designing workflow automations that leverage an ODB, you can also sign up for our course at course.xray.tech. With over two hours of video content and activities, we'll teach you how to design and implement automated workflows that support entire teams with techniques like an ODB. Of course, an ODB may be overkill in some circumstances. If you just need a small set of data that likely won't be referenced in many places, then the data stores that we looked at today are a great choice. With data stores in Make, you can quickly create a simple database that you can reference from any Make scenario. And once you've established the structure for your data store, you can add, update, or delete records with a simple built-in module. Try it out today and let us know what you think in the comments. Do you prefer to do lookups with a simple feature like data stores, or do you prefer more advanced databases like Airtable? And let us know if there are any other Make features you'd like to see us cover on the channel. Your suggestion could become one of our next videos. If you enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow.